Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to this installment of Heart to Heart. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR. I'm sorry the video is so late tonight, and I am so sorry about the Wi-Fi. I know it is horrible reception where I'm at, but I'm going to still do my best to bring the Word of God tonight. Amen. Be ready in season and out of season. That's what Scripture says. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Cheryl, God bless you. I love you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Prophet John, God bless you, my brother. I need to talk to you as soon as I get it. As soon as you get a chance, I need to talk to you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. Before we get into it, let me pray. Father, I pray that tonight you would hide me behind the cross. I pray that it be none of me, but all of you. Father, I pray you speak through these lips of clay. Let every ear hear. Let every heart beat your name, Father God. Let every eye be opened. And let the people be fed tonight by what you've given me for them with this message, the firewall of faith in Jesus' name. For sometimes, Father, it's just hard for us humans <laughs> to live what we preach. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Austin, God bless you. Austin Dye, God bless you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tristan, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to entitle the message tonight, The Firewall of Faith. The Firewall of Faith. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are saved. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The righteous run into it and are saved. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I want to talk to you about the firewall of faith. You know, the enemy is trying so hard to penetrate our hearts, just like if you would a computer program. He's trying to put a spiritual virus in our soul and he's trying to download some spiritual junk in our heavenly hard drive, but if we will run to the name above every name, his name is like a firewall when it comes to how there's things in our life trying to make us have spiritual viruses in, in, in our life. God's name is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are saved. Wait a minute. The righteous those that already belong to him. He's given them a safe haven from heaven. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has given them a safe haven from heaven. You, you see, Jesus said, my sheep will be able to go in and out as much as they will, finding pasture, finding a place of rest, finding a place of refuge. That's what he said we would do, his sheep of his pasture. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He also says, my sheep knows my voice, and another they will not follow. If you're hearing something that you know does not line up, with this Bible, if you're hearing something from a minister that is not lining up with the Word of God, then you need to examine, should you even be in that church? Should you even be in that company of people? Because you are who you hang around. You are what you begin to fellowship with. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why the prophet of God said, Woe is me, for I am undone. I am a man of unclean lips, because I'm a man around those with unclean lips. So the Bible said that God touched his lips through an angel, and he got the coal off the fire of the altar, and he put it to the mouth of the prophet, and he said, Your iniquity has been purged from you. There's a true purging 
in the kingdom. Amen. Glory to God. It's when you realize that God is totally other and you lay down your perceptions of his reality. You know, a lot of people got an idea of what they think God can do and has done and will do again, but they really have never been able to grasp the knowledge of God. See, the Bible says, eyes have not seen nor ear has heard, nor has it ever entered into the thought of man the good things that God has in store for those that love him. But, there's a but there, there's an injunction. He said, we have seen and heard by the Spirit. Those who are born of God, nothing is hid from them. When you ask the Spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, to reveal something to you, boom, he's going to reveal it. In his time, it may not come when you want him. The wisdom may not come when you want him to, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want to talk to you tonight briefly while I've got a chance. I want to talk to you all about the firewall of faith. God is protecting you and me from unwanted viruses in our life and from unwanted spiritual mal malware. Maliceness. Now, this is an interesting thing. The word malware actually means malice. Hackers on your computer put malware malicious malware and then now check this out malicious is what god says to put away hallelujah holy ghost thank you jesus amen he says putting away all malice amen ephesians 4 31 we are to go to the lord and begin to follow after him and begin to help one another and begin to love one another let the drunk be drunk no more let the prostitute prostitute no more let them win souls let them become something greater than what they were before when you truly get born again my friend there is going to be a change in your life if there's no change then you're truly not born again come on somebody that's how you tell if you've been born again. The Bible said the Spirit of God bears witness with your spirit that you're born again. Can somebody shout, thank you, Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Do you know that even the prophet said that God declared from the prophet's mouth, he said, I will be a wall of fire about them. Zechariah chapter two and verse five, he said, I will be a wall of fire. Heaven has a firewall, just like there's a natural, there's a supernatural. Let me tell you, the firewall of faith will protect you from spiritual malice, from spiritual malware, amen? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we are to do by faith is to cast down every imagination that would exalt itself above God. Because what am I saying? Do you know that when the malware is captured by the firewall and it's put in a separate box by your computer, it's literally took captivity over that virus. It's literally took captivity over that suspicious thing that could potentially be a virus in your life. So let me tell you something. God the Father has told us we are to take all, we are to take captive all thoughts that would exalt itself above the name of Jesus Christ. Just like with the firewall. And you know what? The delete button comes from our faith too because when you see the virus has been captured, you just got to do what Paul did in Acts 2. I mean, Acts chapter 28 and verse 3, he shook the snake off and he threw it into the fire. Come on, somebody. You just got to throw some things off of you. You got to go before God and go to the throne and get your own. You can't get it from me. I ain't going to be able to help you unless you come to Jesus. And he's the only help you got. 
He's the only help I got. Amen. Glory to God. I can't help nobody with what I ain't got. I got Jesus, and that's enough. Amen. Glory to God. That's what Sister White is going to be singing Wednesday night. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. White night. That's good. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. But I needed this message for me tonight. All right. That's why I said in the sermon, it's hard sometimes for us preachers to live what we preach. Because I'm telling you, I needed some spiritual firewalls to go up for me. And the Lord has been a fire, a wall of fire for me, just like in Zechariah 2 and 5. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, we are to take every thought captive. 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, we're to take every thought captive to exalt itself above the name of God. Ephesians 4.31, Jesus came to divide. The, he came to tear down the dividing walls and give us liberty through his finished work. Amen? God will build a wall of protection, Isaiah 59 and 19. So not only does God build walls of fire, he also tears walls down. Ephesians, there it is, Ephesians 2 and 14. He builds them up. He tears them down. Nehemiah 4, 6 to 14. And gives us a warning not to rebuild from the rubble of our past trouble. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 26. Finally, God sees the whole in the wall that you think he don't see. Ezekiel 18 or Ezekiel 8 and 7, he sees the hole in the wall that you can't see, or you don't think that he sees. He sees it. You can't hide nothing from him. All things are naked before God. Everything is exposed. Nothing is hidden before Jesus Christ. Amen. I know I kind of went through this message a little bit of a hurry, but I'm running with what time I've got, and also my phone is about to be totally dead. So I'm just running with what little space I've got to run with. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Amen. But like I said, he is a wall of fire round about us. And he's also there to tear down walls. And then he warns us, lastly, not to rebuild the walls that divided us from each other. Amen. From him. Because the Bible says... Your sins have kept you from God. They have divided you from God. There's a firewall there. His holiness is so amazing and so precious that sin cannot touch it. So the Bible says your sin has kept you from getting to God. There's a firewall between you and God. And he's come, according to Ephesians, to tear down the dividing wall in your life and to reach your heart today. If you're watching this broadcast and you're saying, Brother HR, I need Jesus. I know I've been playing around with sin far too long. I want a relationship with Jesus Christ because it's not about a religion. If you want a real relationship with Jesus Christ, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me, cleanse me, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit, that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah. I love y'all. God bless you very much. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody in Christ, Tristan, shared the video, and Austin said, God bless you. Thank you for sharing the video. I've missed this ministry. Well, we've missed you too, brother. God bless you. I, I believe that everybody that tunes in is definitely a part of our for Revival Ministries, and this Heart to Heart program is a program from the heart of the Father that we are now doing every Monday between 11 to 7. We're doing these broadcasts 
at night. Sometimes it looks like that, but we're doing the broadcast to let you know that Jesus loves you and he's got a great plan for your life and he's not done with you yet. Amen. Brody, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Austin. He said they're going to tune in each Monday. Praise the Lord for heart to heart. Amen. I love y'all. God bless you. I pray healing. I pray deliverance. Jesus, fill everybody watching with the Holy Ghost and fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification on more for more videos like this on YouTube. Go to our YouTube page. Like the page and subscribe so we'll be able to come live and help you every week as well. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I, I sure will bring back the green screen, Brother Brody. I do, I'm not even at the house. I'm at a different location tonight, so I didn't have a chance to get the green screen before I left. But, brother, I love you. God bless you. Thank you for everything you do for this ministry, brother. Each and every person tuning in, thank you for what you do to this for this ministry. I love you. God bless you. God, God bless. Bye-bye.